Have you ever wondered why we celebrate Christmas on December 25th and how this tradition started? This beloved holiday has its roots entwined with ancient winter solstice celebrations and pagan festivals. Picture the Norse in Scandinavia huddled around a roaring fire, observing Yule or the Romans, reveling in the festivities of Saturnalia and Juvenalia. In the early years of Christianity, Easter was the main event on the calendar. The birth of Jesus, not so much. But then, in the 4th century, church officials had an idea. They decided to institute the birth of Jesus as a holiday, and they picked December 25th for the occasion. But why this particular date, you might ask? Well, it conveniently coincided with the already established midwinter celebrations, making it easier for the public to accept and adapt to this new Christian holiday. So the roots of Christmas are buried deep in history, blending religious beliefs with ancient cultural practices. But how did these ancient traditions transform into the Christmas we know and love today? As we journey into the Middle Ages, we see a blend of religious devotion and merry festivities. Christmas became a grand celebration, but not without encountering a few bumps along the way. In the 17th century, the Puritans in England actually banned Christmas, finding its raucous celebrations incompatible with their beliefs. Yet Christmas spirit proved resilient, and the holiday was soon reinstated, paving the way for a significant transformation. Fast forward to the 19th century, a period of profound change for Christmas. Influential literary works played a major role in this shift. Washington Irving's The Sketchbook of Geoffrey Crayon Gent and Charles Dickens's A Christmas Carol painted Christmas as a time of family, goodwill, and generosity. These stories captivated the public imagination and helped reshape the holiday's image. Alongside these narratives, new customs began to emerge, further transforming the celebration. The Christmas tree, a tradition borrowed from Germany, started to become a central feature of the festival. The figure of Santa Claus, inspired by the Dutch Sinterklaas and Britain's Father Christmas, took on his modern form during this era, becoming a symbol of gift-giving and joy. Decorations became more elaborate, homes were adorned with holly and ivy, and the practice of exchanging gifts gained popularity. It is during the Victorian era that Christmas began to take on the shape that we recognize today. Today, Christmas is more than just a religious holiday. It has become a significant part of cultural identity across the globe. In America, the impact of this festive season is evident in almost every aspect of life, from literature to music, from commerce to community gatherings. Classic tales like Charles Dickens' A Christmas Carol and Clement Clark Moore's poem The Night Before Christmas have shaped our understanding and celebration of this holiday. Songs like White Christmas and Jingle Bells have become synonymous with the season, filling the air with joy and warmth each December. Beyond the arts, the commercialization of Christmas in the 20th century has been a game-changer. It ushered in a new era where the holiday season became a key economic period for businesses large and small. The tradition of gift-giving, once a simple act of goodwill, has transformed into a multi-billion dollar industry. Yet, amidst all the shopping and hustle, the spirit of Christmas remains strong. It continues to be a time of religious observance for many, with church services, nativity plays, and caroling still integral parts of the season. But it's also a secular celebration, a time when people of all backgrounds come together to share in the joy and goodwill of the season. In American society, Christmas is a cornerstone of cultural identity, a unifying event that transcends religious boundaries. It's a time when cities are adorned with twinkling lights, homes are filled with the aroma of holiday cooking, and streets echo with the sound of carols. In the end, Christmas is about more than just presents and decorations, it's a time for family, generosity, and community spirit.